Okay, welcome back to Undertale. As always, I'm just going to jump right into it. I haven't played this in a while. I forget where we are. I think we just beat Papyrus. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. All right, let's let's go. I'm just going to use these to get over there. Cuz I'm just going to Oh, yeah, we Oh, yeah. Okay, so we need to go on a date with Papyrus. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. Place I like to spend a lot of time. Okay, here we go. Oh. Here we, here we go. We were just... My house! Alright then. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Can I have a pet rock? <laughs> you touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. Oh, it's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program, M2T. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You just moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! Oh well. I've, I'm just going to keep making him run, because, yep. Oh, it's making a dinging sound. I did it! It made a sound. It made like a, a, a big sound, like a whoop whoop thing. It's a... No, I don't want to- I don't want to know about the joke book. Okay, we can do that first then. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Sure. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. I can't feel my legs. That must mean I'm being a great host. Yeah, because I had him running around. I won't, I won't do it to you again. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Oh no! It's the same dog that was eating his special attack. What? Catch that meddling canine. Curses. Sands. Sands! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music. See what's in the fridge. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. My brother always goes out to eat, but... Recently, he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary, non-egg substance. How absurd. There's an empty pie tin inside the stove. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it any time. Ah, yes, for all my daily needs. Alright, let's... Can I go upstairs? I'm guessing that's his room, so... This is a, a classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Because there are skeletons in this. <laughs> the door is locked. Is that is that like actual fire coming out of it though? Sads, calm down. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. <laughs> okay, yeah, I finished looking around. Now I have to look around in here. Just a box of bones. 
Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. The internet! I'm quite popular there! Oh, you have no idea, Papyrus! <laughs> I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower account. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Papyrus, you have no idea how popular you are on the internet. <laughs> That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from... A chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! Okay. Isn't that flag Mito? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. No, skele- Okay, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah! That's exactly what that is. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Papyrus, you sweet, innocent bean. There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Look in the closet. Okay, clothes are hung up neatly inside. Wow. Okay, so, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date? Uh, yes? Okay, dating start. Dating start. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. Okay. S like, my? Okay. Wowee, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human, I, the great papyrus. We'll go on a date with you. Yes. Really? Wowie! <laughs> I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing? That bandage hanging off of you. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Oh, uh, uh, Yes? No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! No, you're dating power! Oh. Yeah. Yeah, ha ha! Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! I'm scared. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah, uh, it's, it's fabulous. No! A genuine compliment! <laughs> However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. S therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. 
but that won't happen. Oh, okay. Is it? I think it's in his hat. And I've played this before, so I know it's in his hat. Uh, yeah, I think your your face, right? Wait, I want to get on your nose. No, not your hat, your nose! <laughs> My hat. My hat. My hat! Yeah! <laughs> Well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Okay, I'll open it. It's spaghetti, isn't it? Of course, yeah. Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh, so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artesian's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken case. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Eating the spaghetti. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. <laughs> you must really love Micro King. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah, Erg! No! Yes, I beat him with the power of love. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um. Boy, is it hot in here, or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to! I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me, a dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend. And act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship, so please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. Yeah! Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah! Okay, well, that was very interesting. I suppose we can just go to, um, like, past the area now. Like, yeah, let's just keep walking. Here we go, on our adventure. Oh, a save point. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Hey, it's that one dude. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Haha. <laughs> What are you selling, Sans? You got you got the you got the good stuff over here? What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Sure. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. It's the other way over here. I know a shortcut. Wow, well. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. 
Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Aha, ha 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 ha. Here, get comfy. Oh, that is so... <laughs> Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? I like fries. I like fries. I don't have anything against burgers, I just prefer fries. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Groovy, we'll have a double order of fries. Is he combing his hair? His hair, air quotes hair. So, what do you think of my brother? He's so cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. That's disgusting. Grilby! Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Why is the no so scrunched? I guess yes then, because I'm scared to touch that. And, you know, I like a little ketchup on my, on my fries. But then again, I don't know. No, let's go with no. More for me. He just, he just downed the entire, he's scratching his butt now. Sans, so mature. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree, Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be a part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. I'm scared. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Like Flowey? So you know all about it. The echo flower. Oh, well, yep, that's, mm-hmm. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Flowey, I, I ain't playing your games. Welp, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from my work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you put the bill? It's just uh, 10,000 G. No! You pay for... Uh, just kidding. You better be just kidding. Grilby, put it on my tab. I bet he never pays his tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Oh, wow. Girlby, what are you doing? Are you writing? On, like, paper? Because he was cleaning a cup earlier, but I don't think he has a cloth. Is he just rubbing it? It's a magic lamp. We never ate the fries! Can I have the fries? It's not... It's not working. I can't. Uh, now I have to go all the way back. Would it be quicker to just go over here? Again, I know I said this in another video, but I wish it was like in Deltarune where you could run. <laughs> in Deltarune, you can run. Yeah, that was quicker. Was that Papyrus? Was that my mind playing tricks on me? Yeah, it wasn't Papyrus. I got excited. I was like, Papi, it's you! <laughs> He's so nice. Oh my gosh, I love him. He's just like an innocent ball of skeleton. Sans is, like, an irresponsible being. He's probably my height, though. He's short, you know. I'll save again. Let's hang out again sometime. Alright. Oh, here's another box. Yeah, there we go. Oh, how on earth did I know to get this magical tutu over here? There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Yes. 
You got the old tutu. Okay, I'm gonna put it on. You equipped the old tutu. Yes! Uh, uh, there we go. I've got a dark shadow now. Oh! Papyrus! Ha, hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself. But, Undyne, you don't have to destroy them. You see, you see... I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. <gasps> I'm not here. I am a. I'm a bush. I'm grass. I'm grass. I'm grass. Yeah, just walk away. Just walk away. Oh, that's oh, that's sketchy. Uh. <laughs> Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I am so jealous. What did you do to get her attention, haha? -ha? Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Oh, 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 you little bean. Oh, no arms. That's sad. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Okay, this is probably a good place to stop for now. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with more Undertale in the next video. Bye.